Welcome to part two. That's a dying fig tree. One-handed right now, I'm eating an ice cream sandwich. A sandwich? What? Yeah. Huh? We could share. Hey, Maddie. What do you want? What message do you have for our subscribers? Um, please keep watching, don't leave us. <laughs> <laughs> That's very inspiring. So, off the top of my head, uh, YouTube, off the top of my head, I think I have 60 of these in inventory for sale. It's the most cards I have in my whole entire collection of stuff for sale. And on a latest count, I have well over... 3,200 cards. They're in my inventory. So, very likely, there's something you see that you want. Especially if it's going over here on the left. It means I already have it. And it's free game for you. Whether you be building a deck or feeling nostalgic. I just have money to blow. Don't worry, my hands are clean. These might have your name on them. What's your favorite Duel Master card? Me? No, I'm asking YouTube. <laughs> I don't have one. I guess I used to have one. I used to really like the Ultra Side Worm. That was my favorite. Okay, Maddie, what's your favorite? Uh... You seriously gonna try to find it? Oh, and Maddie forgot, um, or she remembered the cards that are her favorite. <clears throat> Phantom Fish, and Illusionary Mer Merfolk, Bloody and Blaze Sweeto are her favorites. And, but, for play, it's, uh, the worm. but if she's actually playing, she prefers the Ultra Side Worm. And like I said before, I don't have a favorite. A lot of your pails.
they like their critical blades. Hand cramp. One thing I have yet to find is a Burger King promotional card. As most of you know, McDonald's had promotional cards. I think they had 15. And I know Burger King had a, uh, a line of toys released as well. I never got my hand on one of them. I don't know if there was like an exclusive release in some other country. I haven't really done a lot of research in it. Or on on that, but I know there's a they did have Burger King exclusive cards as well. That'd be nice to find one of those hiding in one of these lots. Speaking of that, there's uh, two McDonald's promos. Speaking of McDonald's, <laughs> not sponsored, endorsed. My hand's cramping up. It hurts. I am weak. I need to call 911. Fear Fang. It's also one of the most common cards I have in my inventory. People don't seem to order that one. Nothing like a good old tattooed eagle. Dome Shell is one of those ones, too. I've gotten really tired of seeing DM1 over and over and over. But makes sense. I mean, it was the first series that they had for English, and so they sold a lot, I'm sure. They were all over the place. But it's probably about 60% of of what the cards are when I buy up inventory, buy up lots. I'm gonna call those used. They look pretty good though. Oh, I just, I mean, they're just a little, a little poppy. 
but I think they're okay. This order was 12 pounds of cards. It's one of the heaviest orders I think I've ever had. Oh goodness. I think that the Fire Civilization is my least favorite. Something about them. I don't know. Yeah, there's a few in there, but there's just something about the fire civilization. I just don't know. The occasional card sleeve. Oh, I wonder if those. I wonder if he was using these to separate the uh, sets. So that was two. This is three. So I bet he was. I bet he's using that to separate up the decks. Makes sense. But it's not a visible clue. You need a visible clue to be able to make that change. Hands cramping up. Hurt so much. Speed sort. Sorry, my hands cramping up, and I'm running out of time. Time's up. There, Red Civilization. 
At least that pile is sorted. It's a clean looking stack. Look at that thing. I didn't think this would come to this, but uh, I will be retiring the series, at least briefly, the series of me just showing you the cards because there's not a lot of entertainment value in here. I mean, I enjoy watching videos of people opening up packs and going through their cards and opening up new stuff because you don't know what you're ever going to find. But, you know... It's just, it is a hassle to set up all the recording equipment and to go through um, just sorting the cards in a tight space and cramping my hands when I could just go through this like in half the time. So unless you say otherwise, this will probably be the last video unless I'm actually actually like opening up something really cool. So see, audio. But I'll still be releasing normal videos. Just no longer of opening boxes like this one.